Hello YouTube, Knife Bean here, back with another knife review video for you. Today I have the brand new Endura 4 and Foliage Green FRN and Damascus Steel Blade. The Damascus Steel pattern on this is supposed to be a zebra pattern Damascus, which, feature, which features a very straight pattern. However, I think Spyderco made a mistake on my knife and gave me a pattern that they've used on previous models. Allow me to show you what I had ordered online and what I had received. This, uh, if I can get you focused, sorry, this on my iPad, is what I'd order online. A very straight and symmetrical pattern. Kind of almost would have had a... gave a little bit of contrast between the layers of just the... as you went down the grind of the blade. This is what I received. I don't know if you can consider this a variation of a unique pattern or that they made a mistake. But it's a very gorgeous, gorgeous mistake if they did. Um, not one that I'm going to be able to complain about or not something that I'd probably send back in that factor. But just something to be aware of that, you know, sometimes knives can leave the factory with a different blade steel than what was it was supposed to leave with. So, just a little bit of quality control issue on their end. I mean, I'm sure it's kind of hard to notice if you're not that into knives. You just saw the black and silver contrast, and you're like, yeah, it's Damascus. It's out the door. It's good to go. But, you know, definitely not what I ordered. Still a gorgeous knife. Endura 4 is a very, very excellent knife. Uh, they kept the VG10 core on this, so it allows it to keep the same edge characteristics as you would find on your regular Endura. You just get more of an aesthetically beautiful knife with the layers. That's 15 layers of Damascus steel on each side. That combined with the VG10 core is a total of 31 layers of steel blade. So lots of intricate work that went into this. Um, another feature on this knife is actually the foliage green FRN handles. This is a normal colorway they have used specifically on the combo edge version of the knife. A uh, version that's very, very, very popular with mer military personnel. And now they've brought it to this more high-end, kind of classy version of the knife. Still great for EDC. Unlike the other Damascus Endura 4 blades, it maintains the lightweight factor of the Endura. It doesn't now weigh over 5 ounces. This is a 3.83 inch Damascus steel blade that comes in at just over 4 ounces. So it's going to ride great in the pocket. Comes with a tip up carry, but as you can see there, it's a four way reversible clip. Pocket clip is black on this one with a lanyard hole that goes right directly through it. Silver hardware, you know, you have the domed hardware on the show side of the knife. It's a very, very gorgeous knife. And not and something I'm very happy with. It's just when I open the box, it's not what I was expecting. And I, I don't know if that's ever something been you've experienced yourself, but it's an interesting feeling. It was something that I was going to send back, but I had been approached by someone to buy it, and they kind of said something that kind of stuck with me. It's rather one of a kind. I mean, there may have been a batch that went out all with this wrong blade, or it could have just been this one guy. Who knows? But still, pretty interesting. Still a beautiful, gorgeous knife. Something that I find funny is actually on the education. So this box comes in a regular old Spyderco box that they come in instead of being a padded box. As you can see there, Endura Foliage Green Damascus. So super nice. Comes in with bubble wrap to protect your blade. And this piece of paper edge of with a little bit of Spyderco education on there. Something that I want to highlight that I thought was funny was that it talks about it right here that the 15 layer Damascus featured a very distinctive pattern that is extremely straight to highlight the definition between the layers is fully accented by the full fat grind. Extremely straight, huh? Yeah, but like I said, can't complain. Still a gorgeous blade. My favorite part about it is actually on the flats of it. The tightness of the pattern in there really gives it a one-of-a-kind look. So for a hundred, for it's a ninety-dollar blade. I paid for nine dollars shipping. So for a hundred-dollar knife, it's, it's all right. It's all right. Blade centering on it's good. 
you can see the core of the VG10 right there, FRM backspacer, stainless steel lock back knife, no flipping action, just kind of a pull open, but still gorgeous knife, definitely a collector's piece for those who are highly interested in Spyderco, and it allows you to carry something that's a little bit higher end, it's going to catch the eyes of a lot of people, but still hold a very solid edge with that VG10. So yeah guys, if you appreciate the video, go ahead and comment, like, and subscribe. I would love to hear what you guys think about me receiving a wrong pattern. Um, as far as I can see, the knife had not been taken apart by anybody, so I don't think it was something that Knife Center did. I think they handle a little bit too many knives to take one apart and give you the wrong blade steel. So, I mean, I don't know. Is it a mistake or is it a one-of-a-kind specialty? You tell me. Knife Fiend out.